kind of. Yeah, that felt a little bit like a jump scare. Ah. Oh. Hello! <sighs> Sorry, I've been uh, up since 9.30 in the morning. Oh my god. Uh, which is like 10 hours ago. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so I got up early. I got up earlier than my mom. That is the most incredible thing. That she didn't wake me up, but I woke up and my cats woke up my mommy. Mm -hmm. BGM live. Okay. Um. Okay, how about now? Maybe it's a bit better? Does that sound better? <laughs> are, you, are you feeling alright? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm fine. Um, I am. I, I feel alright. <laughs> Hello, Kikeriki. Ow, 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 head forward. Uh. So, uh, we're gonna talk a little bit. I don't know do this but i had some things to talk about and show so i wanted to um do a stream where we don't play any games but we just chit chat they sound tired yeah i'm tired <laughs> mm, i'm gonna sleep early tonight too yeah, uh, yeah yesterday yesterday i woke up like maybe at 11 or yeah, eleven around eleven and before eleven, and then today I woke up at nine thirty. So yeah, let's see. Yeah, <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> yeah. It's because I've been like for when I you know those couple days where I wasn't streaming. I've been doing stuff all day. Surprisingly, huh? <laughs> mm-hmm. Not crazy for my usual standard. <laughs> uh, so, what about you guys? Are you Genki? Minna Genki? How are you? Hmm? What have you? Oh, thank you. Um. Oh, Amusement Park? The Phoenix themed restaurant ready to sell chicken. <laughs> Wait, what? I feel like there's. They're stealing my concept. What the fuck? Give me the name and I will sue that shit out of them. What the fuck? <laughs> huh? Lawsuit time. <laughs> How dare they? Wait, 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 which country is this? I have a fever since yesterday. Well, get better, please do. What do you think about ghost puppy Pokemon? That's so late! That's like a... Like a... Like a week ago or so. Yeah, I saw the bed at night cover. Uh, I'm so confused. Because I feel like I wanted to participate. I don't understand what happened. But it was really fun. It was fun. And they were like... I don't know. They... Uh, you know, his voice... Was so fitting. And... I don't know, when they were all singing together in the chorus... It... I don't know, had so much energy, so much fun energy. And they like sang in different... Like... Mm, vibes, and it just still matched so together so well, and I don't know. I was vibing when I was listening. Because of course I know the song, an old vocalized song. I was vibing, vibing, vibing. There's so many... Song covers coming out that I honestly wish I I I, I should have probably um <laughs> should have probably um uh like I don't know moved it to one week later but now I just want to put it out I don't want to move it's just because you know so many other song covers are coming out no no. No, no, it's ready, and I'll put up the premiere after the stream. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. 
No, no, I think something else happened. <laughs> but, um. Mm -mm. So, Kaba ga. Do you know? Nanka minna. Minna Kaba da stel utat mita. Mo. Jibun mo da stel a. Yote dori da stel a. Umale chau da to mo da kido. Ma, shikata ni na. Ya. <laughs> well, you guys are gonna make sure to listen to For Blood a lot, right? Right? <laughs> You're not gonna, like, f forget about it and, uh, you know, right? Yeah? Yeah, really? Is there a stream tomorrow? No. It will be For Blood Day! All focus. On for blood. Yeah. Da for blood day. Ooh. <laughs> <Yeah>? <laughs> There's other songs besides for blood. <laughs> Only for blood. Only for blood. Yay! I mean, everybody else's like covers they're putting out are great too, but but for blood must be particularly special to all KFP members because you exactly know why. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um things I want to talk about today. Uh, the presents. Mostly and my mommy and I also want to start out by just mentioning Tataratan. Have you guys seen Minami Tekuretakana? Today they suddenly dropped it without premiere. Suddenly it was there. Uh the the Last episode of Horo no Gokigen Uruwashu. Last, that's right, surprising. Horo nanto saishoba datta. Bikushita wa. Yeah, um. They've been doing this program for like two years. And every member gets to be on it for like three episodes. And. Uh, Thankfully, I actually made it to the third episode. Uh, Reina was in it for the second, and Iris, it was her first time. But I found it very funny, yeah, that the last episode of this until now program, where they until now almost always use Japanese members only, ends with Ian and ID members. <laughs> Yeah, um, Iris only got one episode, but hey, at least she made it in once. Mm. Oh, yes, of course, there's subtitles for all of the Uruwashu episodes, uh, as far as I know. At least uh, for the recent ones, I'm sure they have them all. And uh, they're, you know, half an hour programs. So, I think you should watch them because they're fun and there's like, um, there's like, I don't know, always fun ideas from the members being put into like some kind of game and yeah 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 every time the third member uh, the, 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 mm? every time someone is in the program for the third time in a row uh the they circle cycle circle cycle out but before that the la the person gets to be the host on their last episode which is what i did for this one but um before, like, starting to record, I... I... Oh, yeah, I was, like... I was... I, like, you know, we were, like, prepping and going for the script and stuff. And then I'm like, Hey, by the way, just out of curiosity, who are you getting after me? Like, who's gonna join these lovelies after me when I cycle out? And they said, Oh, actually, it's... It's... <laughs> He's like, oh, actually, um, this, I guess, oh, I didn't say this yet, huh? <laughs> so actually, 
Uh, no one. <laughs> I'm like, hmm? No, yeah. I was told it's ending with this episode, and I'm like, eh? <laughs> what? You can't just end it on this episode. Like, what? How am I supposed to handle this pressure and this. What? 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 I'm irreplaceable. Oh, I guess. Maybe that was the reason. <laughs> キャラの後誰が来るんですかって聞いたらね。いや、実は手割れて。キャラもしかしたらあの代わりになれる人がいないのか。おお、おお、アイス。いや、バットアム。そう、アイ、アイインスタントリーフェルトアビットネーヴス
you know, anime episode, bread in your mouth, run, 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 yes, they, they, she actually did not have toast in their mouth, I think, there was a mention of something in their mouth, but it was not toast, and I was like, that's funny, because normally it's toast, <laughs> Yeah, so, for, guess where my story went after that? <laughs> if I remember correctly... Um, so, protagonist bumps into boy... Um, something like... <laughs> bumps so hard that... Um, even the protagonist or the boy ended up with broken bones. <laughs> The whole body broken, I think. <laughs> and then... Uh, the other person kind of... Um, no, the broken bones person sues them, I think, for damages. They go to court. Does this sound familiar? No, no, this should be the new story. Yeah, that was cut. Yeah, went to court. Um, you know, protagonist very pissed off that she's being sued for this. Um, loses the case. Um, and one of the things protagonist has to do uh, in, as a result to losing the case is having to nurse the boy who... Oh, I forgot to mention. <laughs> I also forgot to mention when I first made up the story. The boy did not only end up with broken bones, but also in a wheelchair. So... This is my story. Yeah. So, um, the, the protagonist has to nurse the boy for the rest of their life. <laughs> and by doing that, you know, even though they did not really like each other before, especially after that whole lawsuit, uh, she falls in love with him and he kind of falls in love with her. And, you know, then it's even better because she's already nursing him. So, hooray! <laughs> Happy end! <laughs> yeah, that's why I was having a fucking laughing fit when I was telling my second story. <laughs> that's why I was like, you can't cut the other thing because it's related to this other story. <laughs> I was like, when I got the prompt for the second story that was not cut, so please go ahead and listen to it uh, on the on the video. Um, I was like, um, hmm. and then I got like a flash, a thunder flash in my brain. I'm like, okay, I know what to do with the story. I'm ready immediately. And yeah, there I was telling this kind of the same story, just differently. <laughs> I don't know why it ended up the same way twice, but I feel, I think. When I made up the first story with the whole nursing and falling up in love with falling in love with them, I think I reminded myself and partially got inspired by reminding myself of it by this movie that I watched before that I absolutely did not like. Um from gosh, what was her name? Uh I'm I'm Emily. The, what was it? <laughs> the Oh the misery no the the actress from Daenerys Targaryen. What is your name? Emily Clark. Thank you, not Emily. <laughs> Close! Emilia Clark, you know? She had that movie where it's a really fucking long ass movie where she also like kind of is the caretaker me before you. Probably that. She's the caretaker for a guy, a rich guy. In a wheelchair, and they're like, he hates her, and like, I don't know, they don't get along well. Uh, but then eventually, I guess they kind of like started liking each other quite a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been through getting closer and understanding each other, being like forced to be with each other, more or less. So, I hated that movie because it was long and boring. Um, but that might, may have been an inspiration to my story. <laughs> Yeah, so... Hmm, unfortunately, my story was cut, as as was everybody else's story. Um, while, while, you know, during the first segment, uh, I already... Like, my first segment, I already know, knew 
with how far we've gotten in uh like in in a long time that shit <laughs> i i was trying to keep in back of my mind that this is supposed to be a 30 minute program and I, even though the script is already like way longer than that I, I I wanted to keep it everything like as as you know go go as possible so that as much as we record can actually make it into the video as much as possible. But at that point, like before before Dana's story thing, we were already I feel like lagging behind and oh my god, these like these these girls, these free girls, they just can't cannot keep it together Ugh. <laughs> i think also especially like um you know iris may be good at nihongo we all may be good at nihongo but in this in reina's story um thing the thing is we were especially Reina, it was so funny <laughs> when we were describing our stories we all had like Nihongo Nihongo no no Nihongo moments where we did not know Oh my god where we did not know what the hell we were talking about <laughs> Maybe you know cuz maybe you saw Lena was like making funny word combinations in <laughs> in ego in English yeah 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 and that i think made it a bit longer than it could have been nihongo josen yeah <laughs> yeah happy halloween i guess not quite mm, release the kiwawa con well guys i don't know what to tell you i have we all three of us had to record our audio separately so we all have our recordings and could put it together to give you a full experience <laughs> but i feel like mm, i don't know <laughs> i don't know <laughs> <Keep> to <go. laughs> yeah I'm, and the girls probably feel the same way like a little bit multi night to uh, um only have this be 34 minutes long <laughs> especially iris who did only get to be on it for one episode mm. uh sorry i'm late no problem hello yeah but but it was it was a fun episode <laughs> it was i think i think we were like talking extra much just because we all were like having so much fun and we were vibing and you can't stop free foreigners free gaijins on the official channel can't stop us can't stop us no no i was thinking yo director probably regrets getting free foreigners in here <laughs> yeah well but I, I i i was like you know at the end it was kind of weird because like you know i i ended it with like saying um Applause for the for the staff who worked on this for two years and so on. I'm sure they want to move on. Blah blah blah. Good job for now. And then after we cut, yeah, we all said uh, like, hey, good job, staff. You know, just like normally we don't really like talk about what's going on on their side, but yeah, this time, oh, it felt like a like the end of an era. <laughs> Mm. There have been a lot of good episodes, I think, and they put a lot of work into it every time. Mm. Get a new program? Well, they always come up with new programs, that's the thing. So, of course you get a new program, they, get, they make new programs all the time. It's not like, you know... It's not like there's not gonna be anything on the official channel, they always have stuff. New stuff. titles were really good all the time too and the visuals yeah 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 for for all the games they always come up with like videos and visuals and graphics and and logos and all that really cool like they always put so much effort into it 
And I think they put effort into all of the official programs. Mm. So, not only this one. Yeah, it was fun being in it for free. Um, episodes. It's kind of dragged out longer than it should have. Especially in this one episode. Because a certain someone... <laughs> Never, never was able to mm, schedule it. <laughs> so that someone was very busy every time uh, a, a schedule, a date was proposed. <laughs> busy, busy. Mm. <laughs> so it ended up taking much longer than, uh, I guess, originally planned. But finally, finally, yay! No, it was not me. I was ready anytime, but one time, you know... When was that? One time the recording was supposed to happen... While... I was in Korea, I think. And then... And then... Um, I was like, you know, I said okay... To it without really realizing that it was gonna be while I was in Korea. And... Um... I think that was that, or it was somewhere else or so. I don't, I don't, I don't know. It was something. It was overlapping with something, with me being somewhere, and I was ready to do it anyway. Even though I was like, shit, damn, I should have said no. <laughs> but then I was told, oh sorry, um, you know, someone else <laughs> can't make it, so uh, we're not doing it. And I'm like, oh, hell yeah, thank God. <laughs> I'm not the one. I'm not the one. I'm not the reason this got moved again. It got moved like so many times. <laughs> uh, mm, so yeah. Um, anyway, that was a lot of fun. And if you didn't watch it yet, it's on the official uh, channel. And I retweeted it. I mean, なんで、ちょっと見てください。今日上がったので、公式チャンネルにて最終は楽しかった。見てください。本当に楽しかった。yeah, I hope they will call me again for official programs. Always fun. Always fun. Alright. And now... And now... I want to show you... We're gonna talk about Valkyrie Connect. Valkyrie Connect about no, we got um, presents And previously I got some presents that I told you about Like the bean bag And... Brain empty What did I get? Ah, the, 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 the cat's toilet Which is moving flawlessly And my cats are using it Really nice Yeah Mm-hmm Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm So... That was presents from Holo Live particip the, the club sponsorship participants that they thought they wanted to gift to me, right? So I also thought of gifts to give to them. I have yet to like see them showing off anything. Um, did they? Did you guys see anything? Because by by now I think they have their stuff too. Oh, uh, but um, one more thing was. You guys, thinking of smaller gifts, I think 25 or so. Ah, Pickles Quest tickets! Ah, that was that stream! Oh, yeah, okay, 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 okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Those are not from me, though, but yeah. <laughs> that, that's fingerprinting. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I hope you got the dress stencils you wanted. Huh? What are you talking about? Did I ever say I wanted those from my mom? Maybe? I mean, I remember at the time I was like telling you guys what you could ask for. Ow! Oh, okay. No, did not get those. <laughs> Oh, I forgot that I mentioned those. Thank you for, you know, asking for them, though. Mm, but I did not expect too much out of this, to be honest. But I was quite surprised by the quality uh, of and usability 
of the gifts. So, here we go. I'm gonna show you. I don't know. I didn't expect to get it. <laughs> so, one morning I wake up and I get delivered、uh, four or five big boxes from Japan. One of them being something to wear, and、uh, the rest being from Valkyrie Connect. And I took photos of pretty much almost everything. That I got, so let me show you.、Uh, where did I put it? Here.、Ah, we're gonna go through this. So, present number one. Oops. Minecraft Lego. <laughs> Now, this, I'm gonna be honest, I don't do Lego, <laughs> but I like Minecraft. Uh, I guess just because I have it now, I guess I will build it at some point. It's kind of cute because foxes are cute, so good choice. Who? Who in the, in the chat? Maybe, is there anybody in the chat who remembers asking for me to get Minecraft Lego? No? Definitely not me. <laughs> I did? Oh my god. I will say,、um, this is not、uh, the best gift. <laughs> Lego is cool, but I'm, I'm so far from that age. <laughs> but、uh, there was another Lego gift that is with cats, totally unrelated to Minecraft. I wonder if that was also someone's idea, like cat cat Lego? Like, what? <laughs> like, is there any idea? Yeah, 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 whatever. Whatever.、It's, I'm not interested in it. Like, even when I was smaller, my brother was playing with Legos all the time. Me? Not so much. I wonder. Yeah, the other, the, the, the cat one. I did not take a photo of, but there's another Lego set. <laughs>、mm. Okay, so、uh, this is one of them. Let me like, like put them, put some of them. Oh, by the way, photo taken on the orange bean bag <laughs> that I got. Sashin, ano, no, ni mo utteru no. そのレゴが乗ってるものはねオレンジ色のビーヌバッグ<笑> Yeah オレンジビーンバッグ huge ビーンバッグ It's been very useful、mm. So next we have a cute big bird plushie from リラクマ It's a リラクマチキンチキ Very cute. This one's really cute. I mean, the lips. I don't know what this burp injected into its lips. Because <laughs> especially the upper one is plump as fuck. I think this was like a lip plumper gone wrong kind of accident. But you're looking fabulous. You know, we all make mistakes when we grow up. We try out things like that to improve our. Selves, our looks, and then you know, let's just hope no one comments on it.、Uh, but yeah, um, so to ne, kuchi, kuchi, do sta kana, te mo te ta ke do, um, te mo kawaii, rilakuma no ne, niwatori chan, kawaii. It has like a little backpack, actually, it's really cute. You can even open it, um, yeah. Yeah, very cute. I like the Rilakuma boobs. It's pretty big, actually. Yeah. I wonder who, who thought of this one. Anybody who remembers it? Did anyone ask for specifically a Rilakuma chicken? Or just a chicken? I wonder. So, Tanako Kuchibiro ne? Ne? What was that? What was that? Hmm. I did not. Me probably. Oh, really? <laughs> makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. 
Don't remember mine at all? Eh? You should have remembered! Hmm? Me? Really? You <laughs> asked for specifically a chicken with swollen lips. <laughs> Alright, next we have... This was cool. This is really cool. I was surprised to see this. Probably it feels like a Japanese viewer would. Um. Oh wait, maybe maybe not because actually I think some of the um you know other participating members' gifts were also included in this partially. I have proof for it. And somebody wanted me to get like a bathing set, right? I think. And this might have been part of it. I got like a shit ton of bath bombs. I got free, free separate sets from different brands of bath bombs. I don't think all of them are like, you know, supposed to be from one member. But I think some of them might have been from you guys. Like somebody probably said bath bombs, so they added another set. Um, but yeah, this is for the bathtub and it could have been meant to be Lapudas's gift, maybe? Um, this is like Japanese style, you know, you know, maybe you've seen it in anime or so But they have like this normally, uh, in, in ho um, homes, in apartment homes, it's normally plastic, just plastic But I guess in more traditional places, it's like wooden But they have these bowls and they, they pour the water over themselves with this, I guess? Mm, like, a little bit? Uh, and then, then there's some like wooden balls in there that are apparently... You can... They have like different uses even. You can put them in the bathroom, but you can also just put them in your closet, for example. Apparently they help getting rid or spreading a different smell. Um, you know, like, I don't know. Apparently, it's got different uses. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a foot bath? Oh. Well, it might be. Moth balls. Moth balls. It, I guess that's... that's it, it was written on the... On the, like, description that that's also one of its uses. Mm. But it looks, like, really cool. Like, and it's proper wood. And it looks, like... Not from Austria, so it's a cool thing to have in my home. これね、あの、すごい日本っぽくて家にこういうものなかなかないので、これもらえて、なんか嬉しいな。うん、日本っぽいものね。いやいやいや、proper wood. Yeah, yeah, it's aesthetical piece. It is. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so. I wonder. This is a Japanese fan girl. Hmm. Give it to me. You said it. Or a plus chan's. No, give it to me. How is it? Next, we have a switch controller. Oh, I think it was specifically a switch controller. Uh, Win Panda. Look, very cute. Anybody who remembers wishing for this for me to get. Or maybe just a switch controller in general. It's cute. I actually only have one like proper controller for the switch, so this might come in handy at some point when um I have someone over for off collab or so. Who knows? And we don't wanna use. But can you use two pro controllers at at the same time? Question. Because I know there's like only like two US... No, three. Three USB slots, maybe. Yeah, you can? Oh, cool. Nice, that will be useful then. It's really cute. I don't know how good it is. Seems kind of like off-brand. Never heard of this comp company, but it has a cute look to it, doesn't it? Have you guys heard of the company? Is it wireless? I don't know. Um, yes, wireless connection. Vibration feedback, motion function, turbo function. What's turbo function? <laughs> What's that? No? No? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. No one knows. Auto click? Button mash? Oh! <gasps> 
What? For spamming buttons? Does, does the normal... The normal switch pro controller not have that? Button is very much more useful than the other one. Okay. No? <gasps> what if I now miraculously do better in Mario Party games? Oh, people gonna say, ah, she's cheating. What if I'm actually like really just doing better? Huh? And then people still gonna say I'm cheating with this controller now. <sighs> to tell anyone else. <laughs> you guys are gonna tell. Ah, God damn it. How can I make use of it? <laughs> Without making it obvious. Turbo is almost always slower than someone doing it normally. No way! What? That makes no sense! That makes no sense! <laughs> oh well. Oh well, well. Um, speaking of Switch and speaking of games... Next up, we have three different gifts in one. Some game Which honestly are good choices. I wonder if someone, you know, went in there and said Undertale, someone said Persona 5, someone said Nintendo Switch, Sports. Uh -huh. Because basically, like, okay, I, I'm, I, I don't have a like really strong longing to play Undertale right now. But who knows, one day, and then it will be useful, because I have it. And all of these games, like, I, I don't mind playing one day. I can consider playing them one day. And I didn't buy them yet. So, actually, amazing choices. Actually, amazing choices. Yeah. Free games, saving me some good money. Because I don't get tax um, refund on games, unfortunately. <laughs> うーん、これね、あの、結構いいチョイス。ありがたい。まだやったことないし、買ったことないけど、興味はあるやりたいと思うゲームで。うん。Yeah, Persona like even if I can't stream it ever, I will definitely play that privately one day. It's PS4 though. I guess that's fine. I have PS4 and the other ones are Switch games. うん。no, I asked my tax person if I can write them off as business expense because, like, it should. I feel like probably some some streamers do that, but she was like, no. <laughs> I'm like, huh? <laughs> but that's literally the only reason why I buy these games, yo. Ah, PS5 plays PS4 games. Oh, okay, cool. That I don't have to get out the PS4. You're right. I forgot that. Hmm. No, uh, it's complicated. It didn't expire, but it's complicated. Um, let's just say it's not like ex that they expired, but they didn't even begin yet. <laughs> it's like, I'm gonna like grow old before I get to stream Persona games, or but uh, I, don't, I don't really, you know, it's not like I had a really, really big wish and need of playing them so i'm okay it was more about for me it's more about square enix man for me it's all about square enix there's so many games from square enix that i am waiting since before my debut to play for you guys please yeah one day one day. Pray for Chiwi. Oh my god, just like a couple days ago, I saw it on sale on Steam. Is it still on sale? Because I was like, oh shit, I, I should buy this. I want to buy it. But then I didn't. Is it still on sale? I wonder. I mean, look. Tui, oh well, I guess when I type in Tui, 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 it doesn't give me what I need. The world, it's the Neo one, right? Uh, it's not on sale anymore. 
it's not on sale anymore. Well, I think I have it on my wish list. No, no, I don't. Now I do. So please, please, Square Enix, tell me when it's on sale again. Mm. I, I played when I was younger. I played the the uh, Nintendo DS to a Wii before. Didn't get really far because I was shit at games and I did not understand what the hell was going on and how to play this game. But I liked it very much anyway. <laughs> it was cool. Mm. I liked it. So I think nowadays I will, I would do a much better job because uh, now I'm a gamer by profession. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, the combat was so difficult. Right? Oh, thank God it wasn't only me. I didn't understand, man. Kumukashi ne ano. The world ends with you. Zetai ni hongo no title to chigao kedo. Um, DS de yatte da kedo. Ano, just game. Do yatte yaru no ka? Didn't wakan nakata. What's the world ends with you in Japanese? Ah, subarashiki kono sekai. Ano? That's a very different title. Wait, that's like gives you completely different vibe. I feel like it's a wonderful world. This is a Japanese title, which is so so positive. But then the world ends with you gives me this apocalypse kind of vibe of title. <laughs> mm. Ah, yeah, yeah. Didn't you have to like? Yeah, so, like something with like online. I don't know. You text other players, right? In the in the DS version. I don't know. Cool game though, because it looked like it had like really. It still has very specific, um, special graphics. I like the girl, um, with the shorts and the. Okay, they both have short. No, wait, short skirt. What's her name again? She was so cute. From the first game. Shiki! Yeah, Shiki! But hey, the new one. I love the character designs of the new girls. But why? These are new, completely new characters, right? All of them. The girls are cute. The new girls are cute. Damn. There's like a golf girl and like an emo. Seen Harajuku girl? They're both like so edgy. Right? The girls, what's up with them? They're so edgy. They look like girls that are on their way to the next anime convention. Oh my god. Atarashi Suburashiki Kono Sekai no Kara Design Gane. Ono no Kotachi Kawaii da Kedo. めっちゃ中二病。可愛い。Hell, <laughs> oh, Lego set. Yes, it is. Minecraft Lego set. Let's go. Hmm. So, um. Anyway, thank you for the games. They're they're actually really good choices. I was, I was delighted to see them. Now, uh, back to the bath. Ba back to the bath set. Of course. I got some Lush. The, I got a bunch of other bath bombs, but they were off-brand. Like, not off-brand, but I guess like just brands I have never seen before. But Japanese brands are some, you know, nice looking bath bombs too. Um, but these are Lush. Now, I have so many fucking bath bombs. I need to take a bath like every fucking day. If I wanted... If I took a bath with those bath bombs. One bath bomb per day. Um, I could probably take a bath bomb bath... Uh, two months in a row with no break. <laughs> if if I were to add the bath bombs I already had before that that I never use, I just have them because I I like the idea of bath bombs, but I don't like the idea of taking a bath because I prefer taking showers. Yeah. Yeah, but I have so many bath bombs and they're all really fancy and they look so aesthetically pleasing. So. Yeah, I'm gonna take some more baths. So that's just ski da kedo. The bath bomb was da ski da kedo. Mechakcha moratte te. Ano, jitsuwa shower shika abi nai type de. Ano, bath amari haranai. Ufuru amari haranai kara. Shower abi no kedo. 
ただねもうめっちゃめっちゃ溜まってきてそろそろ使い使っていかないとやばいなと思った So I need to start using them うん Let's go bath bombs A whole pool <笑>うーんうーんうーんそうですね、バッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタッタ I don't know, the water is just water. I'm like sitting in warm water. I'm like, what am I doing here? Even when I watch Netflix or whatever, <laughs> it just feels like like a waste of time. <laughs> Get comfy in water. There's like jelly bath bombs that make the water feel like kind of like jelly. Not, not like full on jelly, but like a little bit jelly ish. So that could help. Making it feel a little bit more cozy, but also kind of weird. Because I don't, I don't think I like that. I don't think I want the water to feel like jelly. That's kind of disgusting. <laughs> um, but anyway, so nice, more bath bombs. <laughs> nice. I like them. I just, I just never use them, but I like them. Next gift, I was very surprised. I'm like, what is this? Took me a moment to realize. Cha chan. Three different embroidery stitch sets with instructions. Um, and all of them are with a black cat. <laughs> Who? Who suggested this? Does anyone remember this? Because it's so cute, and I think I've talked before about getting into embroidery, especially for a hand cam stream, but it seems like very difficult. Maybe I can like start practicing once with one of these, try to make one of them. Must have been fun. Oh my god, it does look like snail. Yeah! Oh, oh maybe I can make one and then gift it to Fauna when I see her next. Because <gasps> it really looks like her snail. They're fun. Are they difficult? I think you suggested... I mean, like, who wrote it into the actual... But did I? Did I? I'm a genius. Oh my god. I'm, I'm past Kiana. Genius in surprising and gifting things to future Kiana. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, like, I wonder what the others got because I think it was big brain to actually tell you guys what would be a useful thing to give to me. <laughs> nice! If it was really me. Did I mention this? I don't remember. Yeah, this is really nice. I don't want to use it, but it's really nice. I wanna make this. I wanna learn how to make this. It's really cute. But like once you're done, what do you do with it? Do you like use it like as a, as like a like a kitchen cloth or do you put it on other like t-shirts or something? I don't know what you do with this. You frame it? Oh. But you can can you already embroidery stitch? Uh, can you can't you also embroidery stitch on like like a kitchen towel or so? Oh. I feel like that would be good. Or like or like a like um gift it as um as a like a little um, to go um, cloth tissue or towel. Like in the summer, I think it's really useful to have like a tiny towel in your bag so you can wipe your sweat if you're somewhere where the summer gets really hot. Like, yeah, napkin. Okay, thank you. That's the word I was looking for. Napkin, handkerchief. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like you could use it like that. The kit is a great start to learn. Come on, come on, come on. All right. All right, all right. Kotako! <laughs> what the fuck got into you, Kotako? <laughs> Too fragile? I wonder if it is. 
Howell always important, says handbook. Hmm? <laughs> Rough treatment can damage the friends. Well, then let's not damage it. Let's not be too rough on it. This is fun. I'm gonna learn to do something new with this. So... This is also a very good gift. 10 out of 10. Three different sets, even. I think it was not with... with uh, I, I think I have to get my own thread and, and cloth, though. Because it didn't look like it was included. Just the frame and the guide. Hmm. Anyway. Next, we have also something useful. I did not dis... Uh, I can't speak to that. I did not know this exists. Cooling heating cup warmer, but it makes sense that it does exist. Uh, in pink, it does cooling and heating. I know. It's not very effective. Oh, I can imagine. I picked that. Thank you. But yeah, I can imagine it not being that effective. <laughs> Cause. Judging even just by the packaging, it does not look like a product that makes a lot of money. <laughs> the, the packaging design just is not very convincing, is it? Cup of a lid more effective. Oh, well, I want to try it though. It's kind of like a cool idea. It's a cool idea because, you know, I like to drink tea. While I stream, especially in the winter and when throat hurt for longer streams. Mm. As seen on TV. Wait, does it say that anywhere? I don't see it. No, it doesn't. Fast cooling, fast heating, smart touch, maintain warm. <laughs> Latest design. <laughs> Latest design, but the package looks like it's from 20 years ago. <laughs> uh, oh well, but, but, yeah. Mm -hmm. How does it cool? How does it... I understand heating with for electricity, probably. But how does it cool the thing? Just... Does it turn itself off? Is that it? <laughs> <sighs> it only warms part of the cup, not, not anything inside. <laughs> I guess I'll have to test it out. Mm, a mini fan inside. いや、あんまり。これね、暖かくするし、冷たくもできるらしいけど、どうやって冷たくするんだろう。そもそもこれ、あの、アイディア的にはすごくいいと思うけど、基本的にでも多分あんまり効かないと思って、チャットの人もこ
Uh, it's nice to have a new one. Then I don't have to wash the old ones. And I, when I wash... No, when I wash the old ones, I just like reuse them for something else. But every time I need a new face towel, I just go with something new. But recently, I don't do my makeup often. So this whole procedure does not happen very often. So... I don't use them much often anymore. But it's nice to have. And so uh, it was a. Um, it looks like a good quality. Yeah, it looks like a proper. You know, good brand that really specifies on this. So interesting gift. Mm. Need a second washing machine. Maybe. Yo, I'm talking so much in this talking stream that my throat hurts, man. Fuck. Mm. Talking with no stop. Non-stop non talking. Oh my god, I'm drinking water, but oh, shit. <laughs> uh, I don't have my throat candies here because the cleaning lady put them somewhere else. Ah! I know where they are, but they're not in this room. Ah. 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 Drink more. Drink more. Mm. Keep talking and nobody explodes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cleaning lady, why? Why cleaning lady? Why? She was nice though, and um, I did do a lot of free cleaning. <laughs> But it was very helpful, especially that she wiped the floors. Thank God, because... I vacuum cleaned, but I... <coughs> I never wiped the floors. I'm sorry, but I... It's just so exhausting. She did it, though. Mm, 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 mm. It went well. Yeah. I mean, the whole time I was like kind of feeling... Like, oh, what should I do? So most of the time... First I was eating breakfast, and then I was like... Um, just watching something on TV the whole time, but yeah. Wiping the floor is really exhausting. It is! Mm. Oh, thank you. Thank you, JD Kunes, for saying that, for being so honest. You have a cleaning lady? No, I don't. It was a one time thing. It's the first time I ever hired a cleaning lady. Mm. She was really nice, so we had some, you know, nice conversation in between. Uh, she likes my cats. <laughs> As everybody does, obviously. Everybody loves my cats. Are you gonna do it again? Uh, not planning on it anytime soon because it was expensive. And I just... I don't want to spend so much money on something that I could do myself in theory. <laughs> Even if I have the money. You know... Did Mama Tony approve? Um... No. Well, she asked me, you know, she asked me... She was like, I, yeah, you're cleaning a little over, didn't you? And I'm like, oh shit, you know? And she's like, yeah, no, I, I, I read it. And I'm like, oh, well, yeah, well, I did, so what? And she's like, well, how much did you pay? And I said, I'm not gonna tell you, mommy, because I know you're gonna judge me for it. And she's like, oh, oh, no, tell me, come on, I won't judge you. And I said, no, mama, I know you will judge me. <laughs> so, so I, uh, I insisted on not telling her, and she eventually gave up, but yeah. <laughs> no, not 500. That's crazy. Mm. I don't want to tell her, cause yeah. yeah, she would she would judge me. Mm. It was not crazy, but it was a, It seemed like a normal prize, more or less, mm. for that. For also for you know, my apartment is pretty big. Mm. Even though I live alone, it's pretty big, so it, it takes quite a lot of time, and she, she, um, yeah, also spent a lot of time vacuum cleaning, trying to get the hairs out of my carpets and stuff. Yeah, well, she tried her best. Mm. She only messed up like once or twice. Like you know, one time I have like a. Um, like a, like a, some, some, like, um, stuff that I put on my face, like, not really oil, but some kind of, like, 
um, special something um and she spilled like she put it on the bed on my bed to just put it on the side for a moment and then she didn't realize one of the bottles was kind of a serum yeah it was kind of open and it was still new there was still like 99 percent of the serum was still inside and then it got spilled all over my bed and it made a huge yellow stain in my mattress uh, <laughs> which I will have to explain every time someone sees my mattress without uh, a, bl a blanket or whatever I'm gonna have to say this was neither me nor my cats <laughs> this was from a face serum that was spilled by my cleaning lady <laughs> I tried my best Cause she, 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 this, this I have to criticize a little bit. She did just kind of like leave it like that and just let it dry while it was really, really strongly yellow. And, um, I trusted her cause she's the cleaning lady. But then after like an hour, it was still wet and it was still yellow. So I like rubbed, um, with a, with a sponge and some, I don't know soap a little bit on it to get it at least a little bit better and it got a little bit better after i did that but it's still there the stain is still there that's unfortunate uh, no nah, i'm not gonna write a bad re um, review um now it's not gonna get a refund i don't wanna be like that it's just a stain but also i lost a lot of the, like pretty much all of the product like it's empty now <laughs> it was full before and now it's empty and those serums are a little bit exp on the expensive side but it's okay i'm 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 not mad it happens yeah i'm not angry mm. 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 it's just annoying that it happened on the mattress if it was the floor or whatever we could have cleaned it up Mm. Yeah. It was an accident. Yeah, yeah it's okay. I'm <laughs> changing you a match. Ah, actually, I think I've I've spilled something on an old mattress before too. It also looked like you know someone may have had an accident. And then when I moved from uh, an apartment to another apartment, and friends were helping uh, moving the mattress. I was like feeling really awkward about it. I was like, should I explain this stain or should I just not make a big deal out of it? It's kind of ah, uh, uh, and also oh yeah, one time, um, one time mm, was it Chunkers? Was it Smoothie? Remember the story I told you about m me taking my cat to the vet and getting ugh, getting them like um castrated, I guess. And then I, I kept them wrapped up in a blanket on my bed. <laughs> and they were like, you know, still like... <laughs> hypnotized. Could not... Uh, uh, sterilized, yeah. They were like... Uh, sleepy. Mm -hmm. Cat straight. <laughs> yeah, and then... Um, I was like staying with them because I was worried about them. And they looked like ghosts. Mm, like they looked so dead and I stayed with them for as long as I could but then for a moment I needed to leave the room and then one of them tried to in their zombie mode leave the room because she really wanted to go to the toilet and she did not get very far she made it off of the bed but she was like laying in front of the uh, door to my room uh, in a puddle of her own pee partially um, she was only like, only her leg was like in it, I would say. Mm. But yeah, she didn't make it because she was like, you know, sleeping mostly, sleepwalking, kind of fighting her body to make it to the toilet. Didn't make it, so that was on the floor. But then later on, I realized uh, Chonkers did not even try to get out of bed <laughs> to do her business. She did pee a little bit on my bed uh, on that day. 
And that's okay, I'm not mad. I love my Kitokatos. Accidents happen, and it's not like she had any control over it. <laughs> Screw it, gotta go now. <laughs> I mean, it's, you know, it's like a, like a baby that can't, like, move, you know? Like, what, 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 what? And I can't know. What am I supposed to do? Place the cat in the in the cat toilet for five hours until they wake up properly? <laughs> That's like no, nah. -uh. I wanted them to feel warm and comfy. <laughs> so, diaper. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, but it happens. So. That's why... Another reason why my old mattress had a stain. Hmm. <laughs> ah... Niko no ne... Jiko... Hanbun netta toki ni... Bed no ue de ne... Chotto o shikko ga... Mure chan te... Bed ga ne... Ato ga nokotte dan da yo ne... Ima wa atarashi bed to aru kero... Sleep in the bathtub with them. Why do I have to be with them to have them pee on me? Ah? Huh? <sighs> free mattresses, free stains. I'm not sure if the, the those are all the same mattress. Um, but I think uh, I think the cat one and the other one might have been the same one. I'm not sure anymore. I don't remember. But yeah, you know. Anyway, stains are awkward. So let's hope. No more stains. Gift oh ah next gift. Ha! Otamaton! Otamaton from Hello Kitty. Do you guys know Otamaton? I was like, yo, this is actually kinda cool, kinda funny. So um this is an it's an instrument. You put the batteries in. And then you, um, like, touch the, like, certain or any spot of the long part in the middle there. And then you open Hello Kitty's mouth because that is actually, like, soft plastic. And, and then it will make, like, sounds like a screaming baby, kind of. <laughs> oh, and you can change it to a low key, a high key, a mid key. And to be honest, you can literally make music with it. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of cursed. Uh, but it's funny. It's so funny. It's the first time I tried it out. And um, the day before yesterday, I had in the evening, I had a couple friends over. Yeah. Um, we had dinner in, at my place. And I was like, hmm, I'm a good host, so I'm gonna bring out some fun stuff. So I brought out this thing and started playing with it. And <laughs> I have to say, it's a good conversation starter and an, in an interesting object to show off when you have friends over. They're, uh, yeah, they were like a little bit fascinated by it. <laughs> And then, and then, and then, and then, you know, actually, one of my friends had birthday, um, like, starting from midnight, and we were singing happy birthday, you know? And then I brought out the ukulele and gave it to my best friend, uh, who can play it much better than me. <laughs> and then I took the odamatone, and I was like, yo, we should, like, sing happy birthday again, but if you on the ukulele and me on the odamatone. <laughs> So I tried again mm, to do a little collaboration, but um, I, I have yet to really get good control over this thing. I will master it one day. Surely, it's this is the easiest instrument. Almost. <laughs> but yeah, it was fun to use and then the others like messed around with it a little bit too. Mm. Yeah, I like this gift. This is a 面白かったし、友達に見せたらめっちゃね、受けてた。へ、へ、へ、へ、へ、へ、へ、へ、へ、へ、へ、へ、へ、へ、へ、へ、へ、へ、へ、へ、へ、へ、へ、へ、へ、
good idea. Okay, next is something uh, that was a safe bet with me, I guess, because we all know I love alpaca. Here comes alpaca. <laughs> New alpaca friend, welcome to my alpaca collection family. <laughs> Very fluffy. It's about the size, like a little bit bigger than um, the the like my my full hand, I would say. Mm -hmm. It's very fluffy. You can barely see the body, <laughs> and it kind of is like a beige color. That was me. You're probably not the only one who wanted me to get like alpaca plushie or something. It's not really a plushie. I would say it's more like a doll. Mm. But you know, I can always have another alpaca. However, this is not the only one. <laughs> this was a relatively big alpaca. Okay, and now here comes the tiniest alpaca I have ever seen in my whole life. It is so tiny. You can see by how close I am at the bean bag. It is like it, uh, if I would put it on the table, it would be about this size. This <laughs> size, It is so tiny. It is so cute, though. <laughs> oh, it's so tiny. It's like a voodoo doll. Yeah, kind of. Oh my god. It's smaller than small kiwawa, yeah. It's such a tiny one. I don't want to lose it. I'm scared of losing it. Nakusuno wa kawaii. Oh, oopsie. We removed the wrong thing. Hopefully, I don't lose it. But tiniest, tiniest babu babu alpaca ever. Thank you very much. I wonder if someone wrote into the. Uh, Suggestions Give her the tiniest alpaca you can possibly find And then they went on Google And they typed in Tiniest alpaca ever And this is what they got How do you get to this tiny alpaca? I wonder So Next we have <gasps> Who is this? Compare it to, I think he was a bit bigger than the alpaca, mm, but yeah, he's very, very flexible. He's very cute, and it's like official merchandise from Nintendo, apparently. He's so cute. Ah, kawaii ski. Kono game ga ichiban ski zero zero naka de. Toon Link best link. And Toon Link is a good link, definitely. Hmm. Cute. Cute. He even, he even has a sword. <laughs> Cute. Uh, uh, I want, I want uh, the boat as a plushie too. <laughs> that would be cool. Okay, next. More soft things. Next we have a memory form. <laughs> memory form pillow was in there. I'm using it already. It's on my bed and mostly it's not me using it. It's Chonker's using it. <laughs> Chonker's new favorite spot to sleep on. Chonker's new favorite space to sleep on is this. It's really flat. Um, uh, so normally I had like um, three pillows on my bed. One is like kind of similar to a memory foam pillow, I guess. It's like, you know, the side sleeper kind of pillow that's kind of flat. Um, 
And I use that normally in connection with like my favorite pillow that I bring everywhere even when I travel It's like a really soft one that I can like swoosh around my head in any way So I use those in combination normally and then next to me I always have like a big fluffy pillow because I don't know, I don't use that one but uh, smoothies sometimes like to sleep on it yeah, and I just, you know, for completion's sake, since I have a big bed, I just keep another pillow there. But now I ditched that one, because I don't use it anyway, and put the second, this new, four pillow right next to my pillow. And now Tokus is always sleeping on it, because she uh, has the perfect size to be completely on it. Yay! <laughs> Tokus pillow! Yay! Hmm. Eh. Neko ga ima tsukatemasu. Yeah, it's hers now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder when she will get sick of it. Cause normally they have like a favorite sleeping spot for a while and then they change it. And then they, you know, they hang somewhere else. But they always, always somewhere on my bed, but just in different ways and different positions. Mm. Ah, but also good gift. I'm not using it personally, <laughs> but very good gift. I might switch it up and give Chonkers my old one and take the new one instead. Who knows? Oh, will she notice? Maybe. Alright, next up! Remember the first gift, Lego Minecraft? We have something related to that. I already said we got more, more Lego, but I didn't take a picture of that. But we also got more Minecraft! ta da <laughs> who come to visit me are gonna think I'm such a nerd it's really big like it's proper prop size it's a minecraft diamond sword slash pickaxe if you pull down the thing and turn it around then it's a sword because it will be like uh, a diamond sword on the other side yeah and the, the, yeah, the, the axe becomes the, the handle kind of yeah <laughs> it looks really cool and all that, but I, 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 people gonna think I'm such a nerd. Kore mecha dare ka ga ai ni kitara kore mite watashi no koto mecha otaku da to omotcha o jan ne. Demo kakko desu. It's kind of cool though. Like that's a cool mechanic. Really cool official Minecraft merchandise. It's cool. Um oh Maybe I should have given it to Mama Tori. She was just here. Mama, if you're watching this, do you want it? <laughs> you could maybe use it in your garden, the pickaxe. Maybe it can help you. Shit, I should have given it to her. Ah, she's like more of a Minecraft nerd than I am, as you know. Ah, and I should give her the Lego too. <laughs> Maybe like you know, she needs something to do because she's alone a lot because um, she lives like in the middle of nowhere. Maybe she needs something to do. <laughs> Next time I see her, I'll give her that stuff. Koya no okasan, uchi yori mo Minecraft suki da kara ageta hou ga ino de wa. Tashikani na. Yeah, she was like watching Minecraft videos, yeah. Before going to sleep, I had it in my history, <laughs> my YouTube history. <laughs> uh, oh. uh. Okay, so. We're getting to the end of it. Um, as I said, like some photos are missing. There were like a couple more bath bombs and... Um, actually, I did not take a picture, but it arrived as well of... Um, Another scratching pole that's shaped like a huge carrot. Which is probably the cat's toys that someone wanted me to have. Probably. And, and, uh, I got another cat tree a while ago that arrived separately. Which I already built and is already very popular with my cats. Uh, a, a cat tree, a small one that's like kind of like the height of a table. Mm, they've been using it, and and uh, Ina's glasses that she uh, wanted me to have. Uh, they were um, not Gucci, uh, Chanel. 
Chanel glasses. To be honest, I'm. This is the first time I touched like high brand sunglasses before, because I always just use cheap as fuck glasses. And I'm gonna be really honest here, okay? I think they look cool and all that, but just by touching them. I would never know that these are from Chanel because yeah, it seems like you pay for the brand. It makes no difference. They feel really light. They feel kind of cheap. Like it's like they probably used what? 5 bucks or less to produce these. I don't know how much they cost. I think sunglasses and stuff like that are probably the one of the cheapest things you can get in these kind of stores. Um yeah, but it's like mm, I for some reason I expected them to be really heavy. <laughs> but then if they were really heavy, I guess it would be really uncomfortable to wear it, right? So of course they're not gonna make it really heavy. <laughs> Other girls will be impressed. I know, I don't know if they will. It's hard to notice because like the Chanel logo is like really tiny on the side of the frame. Um, but I guess I'll, I'll wear them every now and then. Mm. I, 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 I only have one other pair of sunglasses and they are like, like pinkish um, tint. So I was thinking, yo, kind of, I guess I kind of need like a second pair of sunglasses that's more like, you know, black. And these are kind of like that. So uh, I will use them. And I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that this is more of like a, I guess, a criticism or a roast towards high and expensive brands. Like, you could have, you could, you, you guys don't need to buy from those brands. Just buy yourself a normal ass sunglasses because. They feel exactly the same. It's really just about the logo, you know? You know, I didn't know. I didn't know. It's the first time I had like something like that. Mm. Oh no, the Chanel perms. Oh no. <laughs> hey, I, I think the clothes they make are surely high quality and nice. But sunglasses, they obviously cheap out on those products. So, I know, Ina chan ga, watashi ni agi yo to shite ta Chanel no ano sunglasses mo moratta nda kedo. De nanka ne, takai kara sugoi omoi no kana to ka nanka katte ni omotte tan nda kedo, zenzen sona koto nakute sugoi nanka sawaru dake de kore wa yasui to omotte chao. Gomen da kedo. うーん、普通に500円ぐらいで買える。500円もしよ、安いか。1000円ぐらいで買えるサングラスと同じような触り感覚。Store <笑> glasses or price in general? Store glasses. I don't want those firms. That's not like that. Just being honest, you know, not being sponsored, so why should I, you know, like sugarcoat it? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Expensive stuff doesn't mean it's good. Cheap stuff doesn't mean it's not good. Yeah, I mean, there's some cheap stuff that's good, but most of the time, cheap stuff is has, a, like, a reason why it's cheap. <laughs> but cheap food... I feel like cheap food can still be very good, but cheap products, like, you know, actual products, you know, they either break easily or, you know... But for cheap food, I don't think this this is the same case. うん。うん。本物だよ。一応本物ちゃんとあれついてたあのなんか紙。It's it's a real obviously. They would not, you know, cheap out and send me fake glasses obviously. It had pro properly the whatever license or whatever. So they're real. Um there's absolutely no reason why they would cheap out. So far they've been sending really cool stuff, really expensive gifts like my toilet. <laughs> あ、うん。初見さん、こんばんは。こんばんは。夜中 
extremely competitive supermarkets compared to, say, the U.S. You mean our supermarkets are good because they're competitive? I'm, I'm actually not talking about, like, supermarket food. I'm more talking of... I was, like, imagining, like, street food. And, I don't know, cheap restaurant food from cheap restaurants. I don't know. Even though it's cheap, it can be really good. Or just when you cook something yourself for cheap ingredients. If you combine the right things. You know those videos where they compare, like, um, the same dish made with ingredients from, like, you know, different price categories? If you're, like, good at it, you can still make something really delicious from the cheapest, um... Ingredients. Right? Right? Hmm. <clears throat> oh, yeah, five dollar ramen for the five hundred. Well, it doesn't need to be a five hundred dollar ramen. Five, five or ten dollar ramen already fucking amazing. Visit Indonesia to find cobalt. <laughs> Aha. Thank you for the invitation. Are you going to pay for my flight? Would you please um, give me your credit card number? So, since you were asking for it so eagerly and you really seem to want me to come, what's your credit card number? And the, the security code? Hmm? Can I buy business class, please? <laughs> Are you also gonna pay for the hotel? Please. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, what was I saying? That I, you know, there was some some stuff that I did not take pictures of. But uh, here comes the last gift that I have a picture of. And uh, ta ta ta. This one's interesting. Turn your heads, everybody. Uh, screen hanging light. Remote control included. I guess. I don't know. Um, but so this, you have to turn around. And you put it on top of your monitor, it seems. Uh, judging by the the photo that it was on the back or so, I think. You have one of those? What? A nightlight for the keyboard? No, no! It felt like um, you put it on top of the monitor. But I'm feeling like, wouldn't it be kind of too bright? I mean, you can surely like make it like less bright, but it feels like... I, I, don't, I don't think I want... A, like a long light right above my monitor. I feel like that would hurt my eyes. But who knows? I guess I'll try it out. It could be cool. Like it could give it a nice look. Oh, people say they're even good or useless. Hmm. <laughs> this <laughs> I feel like it might, might be like... Especially if I'm in front of the PC for a long time. Just having the general light in my room on is probably way better than turning this thing on. But I'll try it out because it's kind of cool. I like... I like the idea of it. It's cool. Mm. Thank you. Um, I see some of you guys like it. So, you know... I will give it a try. I'm, 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 I want to give it a try. It looks cool. It looks fancy. It looks good quality. As well. So! These are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And then two more sets of bath bombs, 18, 19, uh, uh, one more Lego set, 20. Oh, oh, I got another plushie. Um, that was a Kirby plushie. Really cute. 21. Mm, didn't take a picture of the Kirby, huh? Mm, really big. Poya! It, it looks cute because it's like running. It constantly in a running state with its arms lifted up. Like when I was like unpacking it, I was looking at it. And I'm like, since when does Kirby have ears? Because it looks like it has ears. The way it, the arms they just start on top of the head. 
<laughs> I'm like, eh, did Kirby have ears? I don't remember Kirby having ears. I guess that's what it was. But then later on, I realized it's in a running stance with its arms up in the air. <laughs> it's so cute and really soft and pretty big. Mm. So, uh, yeah, those are some, some, or like most of the gifts. Mm. Good stuff! Good stuff! A lot of them, or like all, pretty much all of them, are way more like useful and good than I expected. So thank you! I thought I was like, Thank you. It's like an early Christmas, really. I was opening the boxes and I'm like, Oh shit! Oh shit! What? Really? Yo, this is actually good. Mm. Thank you. I expected more joke gifts. Mm -hmm. No, please, no! No joke gifts, please. Only serious gifts. No fire extinction. <laughs> yeah, well... I mean, that wouldn't have even been a joke gift because it could have actually been really useful in, in my apartment to have. <laughs> mm. But... Yeah, it's crazy how this sponsorship has been such a blessing. <laughs> I uh, totally understand how Callie was like... Ah, it's a cool sponsorship you got there, girl. <laughs> wink, wink. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, thank you, Valkyrie Connect, for choosing me and Ina. <laughs> yeah, we'll do another sponsored stream um, on my channel uh, sometime early 2023, right? We told you before. Mm. Yeah, Ina will be there too in the stream. And then we'll catch up a little bit. I don't know what we'll do next time, but uh, it will be another sponsored stream. Mm. The rerun. Yeah! Awakening! Oh, actually, by the way, the art that I showed last time, it actually got updated. I'm not gonna show the updated version, but um, like. I, I, I gave some critique that I feel like it needs more oomph because I felt like um, when I looked at the Japanese members' artwork compared comparing the old version to the Awakening, it definitely felt awakened. But then I compared my old one to the new one and I looked at it and it looked like they were both awakened. You know what I mean? So I said like to actually make like it... it have the feeling of an awakening i requested more like i don't know special effects and whatever i i totally understand that you know changing the pose at that stage would be like too too late anyway so you know it has been updated and i think now it has more oomph and you'll see it uh when the time is right when when it's ready you know yes yeah, some pizzazz some extra mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, it's really cool that they, like, take that critique and they, um, work with it and, yeah, answer to it. It's really, really nice of them to involve us in the creative process. Right? I think so. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It feels like they respect us as part of the project. Um, yeah, yeah. So that was a gift. Um, I guess I still have some things to talk about in theory in my tangent list, but I don't want to use them all up, you know. But I'll talk a little bit about Mama, okay? So that's the last thing I'll talk about for today. Hmm. And then I'll, I'll consider reading Super Chats, but I'm kind of like... tired. <laughs> I don't know. But let me talk about Mama Jolie first. So, because this was kind of an emergency and the reason why this stream was moved to a day later. Sorry about that. 
えー、とりあえずプレゼントの話は以上で続いてはお母さんについて話しますうん So um uh my mom I told you guys on Twitter she had like a dental emergency like、uh, actually just a, like two or three days before that we were on the phone and she told me that she has like really bad toothache and yeah she was worrying about that at the time and then suddenly suddenly she messaged me and said that she wants to、um, sleep over at my place because she wants to come over and、um, you know I, I live quite far so Um, it's, it's difficult to go back on the same day, but she wanted to come over to、um, go to like an emergency dental clinic here rather than somewhere around where she lives because apparently she couldn't get an appointment、uh, within the next couple weeks, and that's crazy. And then here she got an appointment at, on the same day at a random clinic, you know?、Mm. So The thing is, like, I was、uh, kind of busy and, like,、uh, you know, I had to change plans again. And it was a bit difficult because I was busy. When she arrived, I was, like, working on something.、Um, but yeah, she was, like, <laughs> she was watching a little bit. And then she went to the clinic. And then she,、um, she was really nervous and in pain and not in a good mood before. And then,、um, you know, I called her an Uber, I sent her to the clinic, and then she came back.、Uh, I had an Uber pick her up again, she came back, and she came back really happy, really relieved, with no pain. It was like a different person walked into my apartment. <laughs>、mm. She said, you know, she said that before from like previous experiences, she's pretty traumatized from dentists and、um, she was really scared to go, even though it had like really good reviews.、Um, but she was really scared of like having her,、uh, you know, having it done without an injection, you know,、um, because th- there was a past、uh, experience. I hope it's okay to share. Um, but um, she had a tooth pulled without,、um, you know, making it numb before.、Uh, anesthesia, yeah, anesthesia. I mean, they tried, but apparently it didn't work. And so, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah.、Well, I never had that, thankfully. But、um, she had it happen. And since then, she was really, 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 really terrified. Which is why she was probably also trying to drag it out as long as possible with the current tooth pain.、Um, but yeah,、um, she was really worried about it. And then, you know, she found a clinic that she really liked, so it's good. She was like talking about it endlessly. She's like, I'm so relieved. Oh, the, 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 the dentist was so nice. And、uh, he, you know, his face was really close to me. And he was like, really, he, he, his face is so close. And then it makes you feel so relieved, like, oh my god. And the receptionist, they were so nice too. Like, oh, I want to go back there again. <laughs> yeah, they were so funny and they, like, totally were so kind. And I told them my story and they understood. And, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she's planning on、um, coming back because、uh, there's still other things to do. and But now, now she's not scared anymore. Mmm. Yeah, it's、um, a good place, apparently. <laughs> she told me, she told me, I don't know if you have a dentist, but you should go here. <laughs> I'm like, I, I'm, I'm good. I, I kind of have a dentist, so. <laughs> but I guess if I need a new one, I guess. But yeah, okay. <laughs> Glad she's not scared. Yeah, that was a big step for her, but.、Um, mm. Before, before、um, the appointment, she. Um, you know, it was really late in the evening, the appointment.、Mm. And she, she had to eat something before. And I still had leftover、um, bolognese in my fridge. And I was probably not gonna eat it anymore because I had to、um, cook new recipes as well.、Um, but I'm like, like, she was gonna buy something in the store, something.、Um, um, Soft to eat, and I'm like, oh, hmm, 
I don't know if this is so good, but if you want, you can eat it. And I smelled it, she smelled it, and we both thought it actually smelled still good. It was in the fridge the whole time. It was just a little bit of bolognese sauce, so I, I um, made her some noodles because she wanted to eat it. And then basically she ate my cooking, and she said it was really yummy. Yay! It was fine, and honestly, my mom probably sometimes... Accidentally, accidentally on purpose because she doesn't give a shit. Maybe eat some stuff that's way past its due date. <laughs> so she really um, is not the type to care that much. But this was this was still okay, you know. And she told me it tasted really good. I said it probably tasted even better fresh out of the um, pot, but uh, it was still good. Mm. And so basically, I cooked for her. I cooked for her, basically. Such a good daughter. <laughs> but yeah, she needed to eat something soft because her tooth was hurting so much. And I had just the perfect thing. I made the noodles extra soft. Yeah. Not al dente, no, no. Overcooked the noodles to make them extra soft. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. She was proud. She said she's proud of all the things like that I cook. She sees them on Twitter. And yeah, she says... Mm, she thinks it's really cool. I'm cooking so much. I got over my trauma too. And now I'm cooking normally. Yesterday, you know, after I made her the bolognese. And when she went to the to the dentist, I cooked... Uh, the the kutbula, the shutbula. The Swedish meatballs and I posted. That was fun to make. Mmm. That was actually fun. Mm. Forming the meatballs kind of nasty. I don't like to, you know, use my hands for like forming um, and 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 mixing uh, these kind of mixtures. You know, anything, anything like that. I don't like to use my hands, but the recipe said, use your hands. And it was definitely necessary to form proper meatballs. Me neither, same. Yeah, I guess I could have used my gloves. I still have disposable gloves. They've come very much in handy. In handy! Uh, in the past couple days for other purposes. <laughs> Uh, you wash them afterwards, it's fine. Yeah, but you know, ugh. all all the all the minced meat stuck between my nails. Ew! <laughs> ew! 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 And then the hands feel so oily. Blah! 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 Meat goop. Yeah. Mm. But I was proud of my meatballs. Mm. Yum! 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 So I'm gonna eat the leftovers of that. Now, after the stream. Anyway, my mom is doing better. And, uh... Yeah, she, like... When she came back, she watched me a while longer doing my thing that I was doing on the side. And I was really tired. Because I had a really long day. And, um... Actually... Until now? Since, like... Two days ago? Since that, like... When, you know, when my friends came over for dinner... I've been with someone constantly, and I have to say that socially um, exhausted me. Because <laughs> normally, I don't have people over, and especially not for like two and a half days in a row. There was always someone here, and always like someone talking, especially my mom, because she tangents like a million times more than me, which I understand, because she's normally alone, so she has to get it all out. Out when she's here <laughs> It's also so hard to get her off the phone um, Cause she really needs to like let it all out And talk and talk And from one tangent to another Like I, I, I ask her one question Like I send her a picture of my plant And I'm like what do I do about this And she calls me And then she talks for two hours to me <laughs> About all kinds of other things And I'm like I just asked one question <laughs> I'm so sorry mommy I totally get it I totally get it, you need to talk. But wow, so these two and a half days, uh, uh, right now I'm feeling, yeah. I, I, I was just enjoying the quietness. Like, for uh, after after mommy left today, 
um, you know, we had breakfast and uh, I did some more work and then she left and I, I just continued working, not on the PC, and on something else for a couple hours, just in complete silence. Because I just really enjoyed the serenity and complete silence. It was so nice. <laughs> uh, <sighs> Introvert moment. Needed some zen time, yeah. Just tell her to become a VTuber. Honestly, she would thrive <laughs> by talking so much about what she wants to talk about, yes. <laughs> うちのお母さんマジでうちよりもめっちゃ喋るタイプでもう喋り始めたらもう終わらないしもう同じことを繰り返したりするしでもわかるもんだってあのめっちゃ遠いところに住んでて一人で喋る相手がいなくてうんし um, she told me like cuz like she acknowledged um cuz i was like already exhausted and i i told her that i'm like sorry mommy i'm so exhausted from a long day um kind of hinting at me wanting a little bit of silence <laughs> and she was like uh, yeah i'm sorry I, I really need my chickens soon because you know she's she really wants to get chickens again in her garden um and she was kind of saying that if she has the chickens she can at least talk to the chickens <laughs> should be worried should i be worried mm, i mean i'm talking to chickens too uh so i guess i'm not one to judge <laughs> hmm but yeah she still needs to build a, ki uh, a kitchen a chicken coop kit Ki chicken kitchen kitchen chicken <gasps> chickens belong into the kitchen i'm telling you that's why they're called chickens I volunteer. <laughs> oh, so sweet, guys. I don't talk to my cats. Like, not like... I, we don't have a conversation. If I talk to them, I only say meow. It's not like I'm talking German or English to them. I just, I'm just... I'm only like meow or hey at the most, okay? Or like, oh... I don't actually have conversations with them, no. Baby talk. Well, only like on stream when they come by, I'm like to let you guys know that they're here. I kind of like low key indirectly talk to them. But I don't do that outside of the stream. No, I really don't. Don't make me into a crazy cat lady. I'm getting there, but I don't do that. I don't. I say, oh, baby. Yeah, well, to let you guys know that they're here. <laughs> Mm. <sighs> you guys are so mean. You guys are so mean. <laughs> I'm getting there, yeah. And I, I'm proud of it. I'm happy about it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we never said it was a negative trait. You make it feel like it is. Mmm. As long as you don't ask him for advice. Nah, -uh. nah, -uh, but no, never mind. I was gonna say something, but that needs a photo attached to it, and I'm gonna tweet it out. So I was planning to tweet it out because I took a picture of something related to my cats. I wanted to show you guys. Mm, I'll sh I'll upload it. Um. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm a sane cat lady, if anything. <laughs> I'm a sane and proud cat lady. Cats did backseat me on Slay the Spire. Uh, yeah, okay, well... They had a very intelligent moment there, and I had to make use of it, because I needed someone to tell me what to do. So what? Hmm. <laughs> uh, mean... Mean chickens. I come back after, you know, not streaming for a while and before that was Froggy Wawa, so I've really been gone. And you guys are are so mean to me. Why? 
Oh yeah, see, it wasn't me talking to the cats. It was Froggy Wawa. That's right. Mina, just a bit hard. Yarae no attention. Hahaha.久しぶり なのに. Sure, sure. <laughs> anyway, so tomorrow is Sunday. I won't be streaming tomorrow, but I have four blood coming out, and I will upload or I'll I'll tr mm, I'll re I will I will try my best <laughs> to make and upload a schedule within Sunday, if possible, or past midnight, perhaps, because I do want to stream on Monday. Probably Fatal Frame. And um, besides that, nothing really that I want to say. Yeah, did you see? Do you the behind the scenes? It was so funny, right? Oh, I wanted to say one more thing uh, about that. Um, you know how this happened, right? I I said I said on stream. Oh, wouldn't it be funny if 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 we? Huh? I I talked about these kind of videos, right? And then Cow Carrot made it without me asking for it. And then sent it to me, but sent like a version without all the additional like voice lines. So I said, how about I make some extra voice lines and, and noises, you know? Uh so that was added and then and then it was perfect. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, you're welcome. I'm, I'm, I'm so proud of it. Actually, when it was premiering, I watched it with all my friends. Oh, I, I showed it to them because they were over here for dinner. So the premiere... That's also why everything was happening so late. I'm sorry. I was like trying to fix some things of the video while I was like hanging out with my friends. I was running back and forth every now and then. What did they think? They thought it was funny. I mean, I probably thought it was the funniest out of all the people. It was a bit awkward. <laughs> but I think they understood what was what was going on. <laughs> yeah. A bit awkward, but you know. I was I was busy, man. The past couple days doing stuff and even though I wasn't streaming, I was busy. Hmm. Hmm. Do they know what muscle cars are? They don't understand the joke. No, definitely not. Definitely not. And they probably didn't really register that moment anyway. They probably didn't even ac ac acoustically catch that one. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Your friends don't watch your streams? No, they... Uh, at least my... Mm, some of them a little bit do. My best friend does, I think. I think RBF told me that... He does? A little bit? Like, sometimes, I think. Some of them do. And definitely they do catch some, some clips at least. Mm. Here and there. Mm. <gasps> By the way, now, <laughs> do you want to hear this? <laughs> I don't want you guys to worry, because, right, you all understand RBF is happily dating my best friend. They are happy for a long time. The problem is that, um,. My best friend, she's so busy. She doesn't really have time for me. You know, I wanted to do stuff with her, but she's like, oh, I don't have time to really meet you until like January. I'm like, hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> so I'm like, I kind of want to go hiking, man. So RBF says, well, yeah, she doesn't even have time for me anymore either. And I also wanted to go hiking. And I'm like, hey, yo. <laughs> So we decided to go hiking together without her Cause she has no time And I wanna go hiking before it's like starting to fucking snow mm. <laughs> But you know, she was really like Generally sad about being busy But Seems like she can't really do anything about it Yeah And she's, a, she's all 
totally fine with it. Like, no one's worried about anything here. They... Those two... I can see them marrying any moment now. Like, I'm absolutely rooting for them. I want to be the bridesmaid. I want to be the bridesmaid if they marry. They're so cute together, those two. Like, it's also like... They're kind of the type of couple that... Mm, they're not obnoxious to be with, you know? You know how there's like some couples that when you're with them, you you feel bad about not having a partner yourself? You feel kind of lonely and all that? But no, they... they... not at all. Like, they make me feel so comfortable and they don't make me think about any stuff like that. And they're, they're not like obnoxious like about showing their love for each other so much. Like, I mean, they sometimes, you know, like... You know... Slap each other's butts or so. <laughs> And they're cute together, but something about them just makes me root for them. It, it doesn't piss me off, you know? Normally I look at couples and I'm like... Bakatsushiro! <laughs> Explosion, please! But I look at them and I'm like... I just want them to be together forever and... Make cute little babies. Because they're gonna be so cute. <laughs> They're so cute. They're like the most wholesome, cutest, kindest couple ever. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> they're so cute. Ah, they're so cute. So cute. They're so cute. They're so cute. <sighs> so yeah, I'm I'm gonna go maybe hiking. <laughs> Cause I told you guys I need to, you know, I want I want a hobby where I can go outside, you know? And I mean hiking will probably definitely, especially because it's getting cold, it will not be like uh, something I will regularly do. This will be more like a one-time thing. <laughs> but at least I'll get outside, yeah. 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 I'll touch some grass, yeah. Very soon probably, before it gets cold. Um, it's a seasonal hobby. Well I hope it's not too late. <laughs> After me, RVM's grooms, man. <laughs> or, or I'll be like, how about I am the officiator? <gasps> I could get a license. I can be the officiator. Nah, I, I would prefer the role of the bridesmaid, I think. I've never been at a wedding before, but I want to be a bridesmaid, I think. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure RVF has someone else who he would want to be his, like, dude. <laughs> Yeah, Kiana as a minister. I mean, it's possible, but I don't think they would really want that. It's kind of weird. I don't know. And they have they do that all the time in like Netflix shows and shit, like sitcoms where oh the best friend in the friend group is uh, the officiator. Like oh oh so actually it just happens to be the fact that I have a marriage thing license thing, so I can marry you. Especially you know when they're like. Oh, 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 we want to marry right now, but we don't have a minister. Oh, no. Like, oh, actually, I have a license to marry you too. <laughs> what a fucking coincidence. What a coincidence. It's like every fucking sitcom out there, every fucking American show has that happen. Is that realistic? How is that realistic? Is there anyone in the chat who has such a license? Because if not, then it's definitely not realistic. Because it seems like in these shows, everybody has it. Apparently, you can get it really easily, though. So, I guess so, yeah. I've officiated free weddings. No fucking way! <laughs> really? I guess I should believe you. Okay, but most people say no. I actually do. <gasps> Why do you have it? I've got one. Yes, I do. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> but those situations just are too unrealistic. Two people want to marry and then suddenly... Ta-da! Nah. Bullshit. <laughs> oh, it costs money? 500 bucks? That's quite expensive. I wouldn't get that if I was actually like... If I... If, hmm? if I wasn't actually like planning to... Do something with that. Just for fun? Seems unrealistic. 
Would we really lie to you, Tancho? No, 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 baby. No, 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 don't lie. No, 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 baby. No, 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 you don't cry. What you gonna do when it all turns out? And this thing you're all about. No, 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 baby. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop lying. Oh. <laughs> you can get your money back. What? What? By being paid by the... the couple? <gasps> Catch the flowers! Oh, I'm... terrible at catching things. I would probably not catch the flowers. Unless I am the only one standing there and... the bride is like... aiming at me directly. <laughs> and even then I could fuck it up. <laughs> but... It's more like I would fuck it up if it was an actual ball, I think. Because if it's a ball, you know, it's round. And then even when you're like about to catch it, I would be the type of person who would be so nervous and, and not confident about catching it that the sheer lack of confidence makes me like kind of fumble around with it. The moment I, my fingers touch it, instead of just grabbing it, I just kind of like, blah, 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 like juggle it and it goes somewhere else. That's. That's what usually happens. I, I could catch it, but I... I fuck it up somehow. I always fuck it up somehow. But I think... Um, a flower bouquet would be easier to catch. Because they're not round. Does that make sense? It's less difficult to like... Juggle it around. Eh? No. It is... Mm? Yeah. Mm? What am I saying? I don't know what I'm saying. You know what I mean, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Original wedding song from Kiana. <gasps> Can we play at Kiffy Weddings? Oh, you mean like a... Sugar... Kind of song? I'm right here. Don't you Show me good love and make it all... But what makes a song... A song that you would want to play at your wedding? It's just, I guess it has to be romantic and happy and like, you know... Very much, um, like... I love you, you make me happy, kind of lyrics. Okay, 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 that would be cool. <laughs> Wait, hot... Hey, hot challenger! Hot challenger has potential to be that, I think. But I guess it's Japanese and you wouldn't... I mean... Would you? Would you? I think Heart Challenger, you know, is all about love and all that. Mm, love Conqueror. <laughs> mm, but, you know, songs, lyrics are so often about love because what else can you write about? Seemingly about nothing else. So I'm sure I'll, in the future, have more songs about love. And one of them will surely be fitting to be used at a wedding if you really want to. Hmm. And I would be happy to. <gasps> oh. Oh, do you and Phoebe and I would be good? Eh? I don't think so. No. Those are definitely not songs I would want to hear at a wedding. I mean, I mean, maybe at the after party or whatever. I don't know. Do weddings have after parties? They have something like that, right? Where they eat food and all that, and they dance. Woohoo! But like the, the the one wedding song? Nah. Do you and Fever and I? Nah, I can't imagine that. No way. They're good songs, but I just don't imagine them like that. The reception. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. But no, no. Disco party, yeah, yeah, yeah. Disco party, party, but not wedding, no. Reception, maybe, yes. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Mm, I, I told myself to read Super Chats today, at least a little bit, but... Am I feeling it? No. Should I be reading them? Yes. Do I want to? No. <laughs> you guys are so kind. 
I am. I have been up for a long time too. Remember? And um, I still need to eat and shower and sleep early. <laughs> you guys are just so kind. But at least you know we got to talk a lot, a lot about you know. I'm getting you guys updated on what's going on. Shower or bath? I think shower. <laughs> I'm too impatient for a bath today. Mm. I can sleep, Tancho. Thank you. So it's good, ne? Ano, hotwa sopa cha yomi takatta kido. Shoujiki ne, ano, amari yomi tai kibun jo nai. Shi, shotto nemui. Sleep early, we will see. Huh? Have you heard what I've been saying so far? Hmm. Thank you, Antonem. Oh, be a bucket. <laughs> Yummy. Thank you so much for being part of KFP for so long. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Recently, I've been up longer, more than normally, so it's good that I've been like fixing it a little bit. Mm. Play the spire, spire to bed. No, 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 no. I'm good. I'm good. Don't, 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 don't make me think about it. Good luck sleeping early. Thank you. Oh god, my eyes are really tired now. Take some melatonin. Yesterday I didn't even need it. I didn't even need it. Oh, by the way, I finished watching Malcolm in the Middle all seven seasons. That was so fast somehow. Hmm... Sad. Now... I need to think what to... Rewatch next. Hmm... For a brain empty... Sleepy moments. Hmm... I know, I was trying to go into Pecora's... Uh, introduction, but I'm... I segue into... Dun dun dun... Dun ki... Dun ki... Hate... The middle, is it good? I feel like... It... Just by the looks of it, it doesn't... Does, does not look as good as like... All those other shows. It's good, really! Uh, um, I, I guess I should go and watch those animes that I said I was gonna watch. Hmm. Hmm. My needs high scene, Tano scene, Pekora. Peko, Peko. Peko, 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 Peko. Peko. Ya, Usada. Barai kata ga maji de kuse ni naru. Peko, Peko. I don't know. I should come up with proper lyrics. <laughs> Can't lasso. I haven't! Isn't that the one that's only on Apple? I wanna watch it, but I don't fucking have Apple TV. <sighs> I want... That one looks really good. I feel like I would love it. Fucking Apple TV. I'm not gonna get another goddamn subscription just to watch one stupid ass show. Oh, but uh, ah, right. I said oh, I have to watch. I have to watch the Handmaid's Tale new season because I said when I'm done with like Game of Thrones, I'm gonna watch the Handmaid's Tale. And then, but I'm not ready for it yet. And I was. I'm more like looking for a show that's like you know relaxing. Um. So. Eventually, eventually, I'll watch Handmaid's Tale. <laughs> My mom has been catching up with The Handmaid's Tale, but I haven't. Yeah, just one show, and that's it. Subscriptions, why? Why? Coda and Prehistoric Planet. If you like nature, dogs, and dinosaurs. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't really, not particularly. Hmm. So I would really just watch it for Tad Lasso. Rewatch Nietzsche Joel. Well, it's not like on, on any of those services. 
I don't wanna like always have my laptop connected via HDMI to my smart TV just to watch like animes. I wanna. That's why it's so good to have like more animes on Netflix nowadays. Yeah, Crunchyroll. Oh, I don't. I don't have a Crunchyroll thingy. I guess would it? I guess it would be worth to get, huh? Oh well. Anyway. Uh. Yes, I watched the last episode of House of Dragon. Uh. I feel like I mentioned it before. Hmm. I don't want to annoy you guys too much with my serious reviews, <laughs> but yeah, well, I don't know. It, actually, hmm, the only thing that really like stayed in my mind from that episode that was like really like you know something big that happened, I guess, was you know, spoiler alert, one of the boys. You know what happened? I'm not gonna say it, but you know one of the boys. Hmm? That was like the moment, the moment, the moment she, you know, talks to him to tell him what to do. It's like such a big, um, death <laughs> flag. Oopsie. Yeah. But I think it's so obvious. Like, I was like, oh, oh, that's a flag. That's such a flag. Mm. Oh, please don't go. And then, you know, he's there. And then it seems like he, he leaves safely, but of course not. Yeah, that was gonna happen. But then you think he escaped safely, but nah, of course not. Mm. Uh, that hurt. I was like, I knew it was gonna happen, but I was really, really, really holding on to the possibility of it not happening. Hmm. And now I'm just really pissed off that I have to wait two fucking years to see something again of that show. I would have hoped really that they make it within 2023. What the fuck? Like, what are you gonna do with all this hype that you created? Yeah, I've heard it's t gonna take two years, 2024. They're killing their own hype. I mean, I'm, I know, I understand it takes a lot of time to create this. Like, if they could do it earlier, they would obviously do it earlier. There's always books. Okay, last tangent. Not really a tangent. Last thing to say. Speaking of books. You know... I... I watched an interview of the... Um, sheesh. Forgot his name. <laughs> About the, the dragon guy. The guy who writes the dragon books. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. George R. R. Martin, thank you. I didn't I only saw George. Okay, that's all I needed. Uh, and 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 he introduced his new book. Yeah? So I'm like, hmm, this book does not look too big. So I looked up how long it takes to read it. The Rise of the Dragon, an illustrated history of the Targaryen Dynasty, Volume 1. It looks so fancy, you know? So I looked it up and it takes apparently only... If you read at 300 words per minute, it would take 4 hours and 15 minutes, which is, sounds crazily short. I don't think that's like 100% accurate, but it's also good if it's shorter because I feel like then it's something easy to throw out there to the book club. And, you know, I'm just kind of biased because of, you know, Game of Thrones and shit. So I said, hello, my sweet. How much is 300 words per minute? <laughs> but, okay, so I said um, to my book club, I said, Hello, this is very uh, uh, selfish, but I have a suggestion. And since you girls mostly said, I'll read whatever you suggest or decide, I'm just gonna go with it. I'm gonna say, I wanna read this. Because this is kind of like the, in the beginning of the Targaryens, but with cool illustrations. Uh... And it's not that long. I think this would maybe be cool to read. What do you think? And then so far, everybody said yeah. Everybody said yeah. And you know, I, I figured that you know, probably the other girls have watched Game of Thrones, um, or like are are interested at least, or have heard of it, have seen some of it. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they really um, are. Maybe not all of them, but um, at least. 
At least one of them was really excited about it. And the rest was like, yeah, fine, yeah, let's do it, okay. So, we may or may not have decided on the book, but I just kind of chose it because I randomly saw it's a new book and I just stopped watching House of the Dragon, so it's a nice connection, but... I don't know if it's actually good, or if it's a good choice for a book club. But we can talk a lot about... Um, the Targaryens through this. And... I think it's cool to read a book that also has like some kind of like TV adaption, you know? Mm. Doesn't seem to be... Yeah, that's a good thing, I think. Is it a good introduction to the series? I don't think it's supposed to be an introduction. It's, it's more supposed to be for people who want to know more. Uh, but even if you're not too deep into it, I would say it still also kind of serves as an introduction to the Targaryens. Hmm. Yeah, like a like a history book for the Targaryens, yeah. <laughs> so really only good probably if everyone's into Game of Thrones. I think they are. <laughs> and they kinda left it to me. So you know, don't give me so much freedom. Hmm. May spoil the rest of House of Dragon for you. Oh, uh, are you sure? I feel like I read that this just is about everything that happened before House of the Dragon. I feel like that's what he, the George R. R. Martin said in the interview. Did I get it wrong? I'm pretty sure that's what he said. Mm. LGT. What? I'm not talking about LGT. The Rise of the Dragon. Mm. Anyway, I'm fucking tired. So I'm go. I'm really tired. I'm gonna go. Bed, bed, bed. Doko. Tということで眠いのでそろそろ行くよ。うん。Well, maybe... Eh, did anybody... It's already out. I'm wondering if anybody read the book. But if you did, or if, if you want to, please read it and tell me about it. <laughs> Apparently, at 300 words per minute, it can be read in 4 hours and 15 minutes. So go get it and, and report back to me. Thank you. You're <laughs> <laughs> cool. Mm. Then I can judge better if it's good for the book club. <laughs> okay. I have to put up the four blood reservation now. Mm. Yeah, but 300 hours, uh, 300 words per minute. I don't know how. That's like, wait, that's way too much, isn't it? That's unrealistic. How much does a normal person read? It said that's average reading speed. It's fast. Okay, maybe it's average for bookworms. Five words per second. Mm. Mmm, that seems okay. Maybe a bit faster than normal, yeah. Oh well, okay. And in German, we say Auf Wiedersehen, okay? I need to go, I need to go. Eh, ということで、あの、聞いてくれてありがとう。あの、月曜日にちょっとホラーゲームの配信やるし、来週はまたちょっと普通に配信すると思うよ。うん。お疲れ様でした。Thank mm. mm. you for listening. And next week should be more or less back to normal. I mean, I might take two days off rather than one day. Uh, but, I mean, that's so kind of normal. Mm. So, yeah, look forward to next week and for blood. Thank you so much, guys, for waiting for me, giving me some space. Dankeschön. Mm. Good night. Thank you very much. Thank you, sweeties. Sweetie, sweetie, with your magic card. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Bye, bye! Next time I come back to the screen, I will probably be like, Ayo, what the fuck? I didn't clean up. <laughs> bye, bye! I rip it dirty. <laughs> oh shit, it's still this. No, let me get rid of this now. Okay, here we go. 
back to normal. Pretty. Who is this pretty lady? Hmm. 